Microsoft Word 2010 Working in Columns. It is possible to display your information in multiple columns on one page in Word 2010. To do this, select your text first, then select the Page Layout tab on your ribbon, and on the Page Setup group, select Columns. Here you can select how many columns you would like to use. I'm going to select two columns. The information will then automatically be put into two columns. It's very important though that you highlight your information first. If you didn't highlight in your information, you might need to insert the column breaks on your own. I'll show you how to do this. Let's undo the previous step. So let's not highlight anything. Select Page Layout, select Columns, and now select Two Columns. Although two columns has now been created, Word did not know which information to move to the second column. To move the information, move your cursor to the information that you would like to display in the second column. And then on your Page Layout tab, select Breaks. And then look for the column break and insert a column break to move the information to the next column. There are also other options when it comes to columns. Select your columns again and then select more columns. This will open the columns dialog box. Here you could for instance add a line between your two columns and you could set the spacing and width of each column. Remember to select OK once you've set all your settings. To activate automatic hyphenation, highlight all the text in your document and then on your Page Layout tab, select Hyphenation. I'm going to select Automatic Hyphenation. You'll notice that in point 2, we now have hyphenation for the word combination as well as sugar. It might not be 100% correct, so you'll still need to check the hyphenation after applying automatic hyphenation. And that concludes our lesson on Microsoft Word 2010, Working in Columns.